So this is the BYD Atto 3 Tachyon. And today I'll be going over the interior, exterior and all the features. So let's get right into it. So starting off with the headlights, they're fully LED. They've got, it says right down the side, LED technology. And it's got those LED daytime running lights with a light strip down here which activates when your headlights are turned on. BYD badge right there. There is no um, frunk or front compartment in this car, but there is a little space. You can see down there, there's a front camera which is used for the 360 camera system. And there is the radar used for its driver assistance system. Going on to this side, you can see the tachyon. It has the tachyon badge and a little badge down there with a black side molding. You've got these tires, which are 20 inch, and they are on. They're using Pirelli tires, 245-40, and they look really nice. And the brakes are nice as well. They're probably the standard brake you get on the normal car. Back is the same, but the brake is slightly smaller. And most of the chrome is removed on the tachyon package, but this part right here, which looks like fins or shark scales, kind of. Like fish scales are still still chrome, and back here it's LED as well. So this light is all LED, and it says right here on the side BYD Tech, and you can see right here it says EV. You've got the parking sensors. You've also got parking sensors in the front, and you've got the number plate area, and the trunk open is like right down there. That's how you open the trunk, and that's another your rear camera. BYD badging there. And they've removed the Build Your Dreams logo, which is normally there, and just replaced with Tachyon. You've got the efficiency information up here. Each uh, side mirror has a camera down there used for the 360 camera system. And you've got your charge port over here. You just push it and then you just pull it to open. And you've got CCS Type 2 up to 80 kilowatts charging speed but owners have reportedly seen up to 89 and to close it you just push this back in and you push it closed so one thing quickly so the car can also do 420 k's on the wltp cycle on a full charge and that's on a 60 kilowatt hour battery using the byd blade lfp battery which is just like this. That means you can charge the car up to 100% every day without having to worry about the battery degradation. And up at the top there, you've got your camera, one for your driver assistance, and this one slightly lower as your uh, DVR system, so drive video recorder. So it record your driving and dash cam. You can save those clips. It'll show your information like your speed and how much accelerator is pressed. So at a specific time, so you can, if you get in an accident, you can use that to prove whether you're live or not. There you've got your windshield wipers. Now let's hop in the inside. And all, all models of the Atto 3 get electrically adjustable driver seat. And now let's hop in the inside. Now the windows are only single pane, but... So on the inside you can see it's got a black headliner, black everything there. Steering wheel is leather, and it's got the blue dashboard. This is a lot more simple compared to the you know normal Atto 3, which is right around there. It's a lot more simple, and in my opinion, the Tachyon version looks a lot better. And the windows are tinted, it seems to be. So let's get like into it. So on the right side here, you have got the you've got RGB around the speakers on all sides, including the back. You've got RGB lighting around this car as well, so it's got lots of nice ambient lighting, and this can actually adjust to like, if you're playing music, you can have it so that, based on like the beat or whatever, the thing actually changes and kind of corresponds with that. So, and that's also your door handle, so you kind of pull it up. That's how you open your door, and then to close it, you just pull it using this normal. You've got like Alcantara type thing over here and here. It's genuine leather on the interior. You've got airbag which is in Chinese writing not not sure what that says you've got your mirror and on the corner it does actually have a blind spot monitor built in 
this is a small triangle which is your blind spot monitor you've got obviously all your window controls all your um all your mirror controls over there and then in front of you you have got the steering wheel i've switched to the one times camera so the steering wheel is leather it's not that like soft it's a bit like i think it's just a bit of thin leather but it feels nice in the hand and it does feel like a nice position to be seated it has you know a bunch of buttons like that is how you uh, turn on the cameras around the car so if i press that it turns on the 360 camera mode as you can see like right there and if you go in here it's like you know 3d so you can see all around and it's actually a nice view i wish this you know corresponded to your car's actual color instead of just being like a generic gray because obviously the car is red but this is just generic gray and here is like so if you drive forward this will basically fill up with like the ground underneath you and that way you'll be able to see what's underneath your car I've seen a bunch of other camera modes, which I will check later. Press it to exit. Then you've got this, which actually rotates your screen, portrait, and landscape. Then you've got cruise control over here. So, like basic cruise control. Uh, it's adaptive, so it will slow down and it'll come to a complete stop as well. You've got a lane keeping assist button over there. So when you turn that on, it's already turned on. Um, basically see that little icon there so that just says your lane uh, keep uh, lane assist systems are enabled and when you are on cruise control you can push that and then that icon will appear next to that and it'll just say that your car's actively steering to keep you centered in the lane this is how you adjust the following distance so at the moment it's set to three and you can have up to four so you can have one to four and over here your volume controls is like a just a basic scroll wheel and we've got mode, which changes the screen mode, like other cars do. And this screen is also like really fast and responsive. Uh, you've got this, so you can obviously adjust what's displayed. Okay, so basically, yeah, you press that, and it'll bring up this mode, and basically, you can just kind of uh, scroll up or down for you know the different menus. So now we can move on to the back. So you've got automatic headlights, automatic there, uh, fog lights, you've got fog lights, you've got obviously turn signals, and on this side you have wipers, but these are not automatic, so you actually have to adjust them while you're driving, which is, I think, a feature which this car should really have. And now moving away from the steering wheel to the center console, so you've got a few modes here for region braking. So you can see that it's sitting on high. If I push that down, it goes into standard and then back up again, it just goes in tie. So there's no one pedal driving in this car, you have to use the brake pedal to slow down, but it does blend the brakes with regen. You've got obviously a traction mode kind of thing. You push it and it'll change as you can see there, like kind of icy road conditions on that sport. And then driving mode, like down there, you put another drive mode thing, push it down, it'll go eco, it changes the display slightly. And then like normal, sport, That's good, it just enhances your accelerator timing, you know, like a accelerator responsiveness, for I should say. So when you push it, it's like a lot faster. And down here you've got your parking brake, which you can push or, you know, you push or pull to engage or disable your parking brake. Automatic hold, so when you come to full stop, you can let off the brake and the car will hold in its position. Blind spot monitoring, so when you push this button, the side mirror thing will go orange when there's a car in your blind spot. And there's parking sensors. Auto and fan off on and the front defogger. This is all your climate controls and this to adjust and uh, you know adjust or like turn off your screen like that for example. You can that's off and then that's back on. And two cup holders, not no teeth or anything. But what I do like is see look down there. You can actually take they are deep. This actually comes with one of these, so it's quite deep like that. And if you have like a small coffee cup, you can just put that in. And then it just like raises it up slightly on one side. Over here you've got your gear selector with, you know, park, you push that to enter park. Reverse, you push forward. Neutral in the center by pushing that button. And then drive at the back. Then you've got obviously a start-stop, which this car does not turn on automatically when you get inside. You have to push it start-stop. And these um, vents, which I kind of like, they're like dumbbells. They look okay. And then use this to increase or decrease the speed as you can see, uh, well, the position of the fan as you can see over there. That's like up there, and if you push down and close it, then it's closed, it turns off that fan. And adds more pressure coming out over the sides. 
So the glove box on this card is like that. You flap it open this way, and you fill it. It's actually, uh, it's all right. Size. There's a light in there as well. Uh, one thing I do like is that it's actually um, it's actually got like a toggle switch instead of like being uh, controlled by the touchscreen like a Tesla. However, I do have to say, once you start going further down, it is very uh, scratchy materials. But all this is like soft, really nice soft, and feels really premium. And so yeah. Right, next thing, we should probably move on to the screen. And this screen has a lot of features. So, as you can see here, it's on this basically the normal screen. You can swipe over to get all the apps, BYD Assistant, Apple CarPlay. So, Apple CarPlay is wired, Android Auto is wireless. Media center, so you can um, you know view files that you put into the car from a USB stick. Vehicle image, this is the driving recorder, and that's basically what it records. And then you can see all the thing it's saying. I don't have my seatbelt on, the parking brakes on, if the indicator is being used, the light if they're on, and the date, time. Yeah, that's pretty good. And to go back, you just kind of use that. An album to kind of view the whole photo album up. And then you've got some more, you've got digital radio, smart charging. But you can basically set this so when you plug the car in, it'll only charge from that specific time. So you can get off-peak rates, for example. And then utility tools, disable auto start data monitor, which this is kind of like an Android tablet, so it kind of got a lot of these type of apps. And obviously go back, settings. So this is where you can view all your car settings. So you've got internet, audio, display, software. That basically tells what software it's using, apps more. You've got ADAS. So this is actually new. Uh, before it wasn't actually called ADAS. It was called DI Pilot. So you've got uh, lane support systems. You know, that's always on. Uh, high beam assist, traffic sign recognition, active safety. You've got all this. Uh, ESC, hill descent control, parking assistance, panoramic images. Yeah. Oh, actually, one more thing. Let's go back on there. So ADAS, new energy. Uh, this basically changes your region. But in no mode is this a one-pedal driving car. So you've got a uh, charge port lock, smart charging, uh, consumption, and consumption graph, vehicle settings, uh, steering mode comfort, sport, brake assist, comfort or sport, and then comfort parking, which basically means when your car does come to a stop, it's a lot, uh, uh, how do I say, it's more comfortable. You've got the lights, so you've obviously got ambient lights, dynamic colors, music rhythm, uh, music rhythm is what I was talking about before, when the ambient lighting inside the car actually changes based on the music you're playing, external mirrors, auto fold, so when your car locks it'll automatically fold, AC, so that's fan speed direction during calls, which is actually pretty nice, and you've got economical or comfort mode, uh, locks, notification, and vehicle health, it'll basically just tell you the health. Overhaul, wiper in service position, vehicle information. You can check your car, it'll just say it's good. So this is actually a really nice infotainment system, and the you've got BYD Assist, you've got navigation, which I can show you what that looks like. And this is actually very, like, that was very quick. For a car, that is very quick. As you can see, like, this is, like, insanely smooth. Recenter, like, that is very smooth. And as you can see here, you've got your charge. You've got charging stations, and it just shows you all of the charging stations, and it says how fast they are. So if I select Vector, for example, and I say go, Please it tells you to the highlighted route. It tells you what the speed is and how long it'll take till you get there, and you can click that to view the steps. Exit out, and you can see that there as well. Uh, the car's got a 4G SIM, and it's got that's the pitch of the car, so it's currently negative one. Now that's fairly nice. This is actually a very nice infotainment system. The features it has is quite good, but I still recommend using CarPlay or Android Auto. And the fan, I know, the fan. So when you click the fan, it tells you that it's got PM 2.5 filtering. So it's quite nice. And now the cameras, we should probably go over there because this car has like really high resolution cameras for the parking. Like as you can see there, that is like really nice high resolution. That obviously changes the mode, so if I 3D, this is like really amazing. So, I mean, I guess in front that's a bit, you know, not that uh, crisp, but when you're like looking at like stuff in your close vicinity, it's really good, especially like back there, it's really clear. 
and you can see you've got other modes. So if it's in 360, you can have it like that, like that, like that. If I turn on, if I turn off 3D, you've got that's your front camera, that is your rear camera, your left camera, your right camera, the wide view for the front camera, wide view for rear camera, and the two side cameras. So this is actually a really nice system. I reckon it's very good. And let's go back to rear camera. I'll go back home. And now, let's look at these seats. So these seats are special, they've got Tachyon branding over there. While in the normal uh, BYD Auto 3, these seats don't have anything up there. And it's genuine leather, so it's not fake leather. Uh, you know, it's perforated as well, and it's got little uh, Alcantara, you know, accents to it. And you've also got your sunroof controls up here. And little lights where when you just tap, it turns on off. With the sunroof, right, you can pick to open. And that basically opens up the sunroof. That opens up the sunroof so you can open up that back further as well so it's a full panoramic sunroof and it opens up and actually has a bug net in front so as you can see there you can open up the whole thing so it opens up all the way to the back so it's a massive sunroof and then obviously to close it this is all touch capacitive I'm pretty sure in here you can actually go into your settings Vehicle settings, go into actually I don't know how to do this. But there's a setting in the car which you can which you can use to basically um oh wait, maybe. Which you can use to just uh control the touchscreen, uh you know, uh, control the sunroof from there. Or you can just close it using these buttons up here. It's nice to go to sunshade because it is tinted, but I don't think it's like UV treated like other cars. Or like Tesla, for example. But Tesla is more expensive than this, so I think it's fine. But I mean, you've got Spotify and everything. Please log in. So now let's hop into the back seat and see what it's like back there. Now, I'm in the back seat of the Atto 3 Tachyon. And as you can see, there's actually a lot of space for my legs. A tow room I don't think is that good because my foot is kind of touching the top of the seat when it's over there. But it's actually a nice place to be seated. This is all real leather and the whole back seat is real leather with a bit of Alcantara accents inside there. You've got a cup holder and an armrest in built in here. And you've got BYD design right there, little badge. And you've got these uh, vents back here. So you've got some vents and then you've got two USB charging ports right there. One USB-C, one USB type A. You've got LED, you know, lighting inside your door handle again, the same type of door handle. Automatic uh, windows at the back as well. Speakers down here with little strings. Which you can play a song from. And yeah, it's actually a really nice uh, back seat as well. I feel like pretty comfortable back here. And you've got obviously that massive sunroof, so you can have that open as well. Now, let's check out the boot. So, to open the boot, as you can see right, right there, there's a little trunk open. And you push that and it's electronic. And you can adjust the height of this as well if you want it further up or further down. And in here you've got 400 liters, about 400 liters of boot space with the you know thing put down to the bottom. But however, obviously you've got some more space for the sides. But you can actually pull this up with the bottom. You've got some more space down there with a tire repair kit. However, if you push this up, you can actually make this flat, so when you fold down those teeth, it's like a complete flat rod and fold. And then there's no gap there anymore. Bring this back into a normal position. You'll be able to see that there is significantly more bigger gap there. The boot, you push a little button. Like So that wraps it up for the BYD Atto 3. If you guys would like to see anything else about this car, like how it charges, how the driver assistance systems work, or in like Android Auto CarPlay on this touchscreen, I'll leave a comment down below, and I'll try get to that. I'll try make it happen. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.